Hello everyone. Uh, so let's see some more examples related to the DFA. And uh, here the language is given as the set of all strings, uh, which is which has the length less than or equal to two. It means that zero length ki jo string will be bhi accept ho jayegi. One length ki string will be accept ho jayegi. So you know that the smallest string hoti hai, zero length wali, well, epsilon hoti hai. One length ki jo string will be a and b hogi. जो टू लेंथ के स्ट्रिंग है वो हो सकती है ए ए ए बी बी ए और बी बी तो लेट्स फॉर्म द ऑटोमेटर फॉर दिस एंड इफ क्यू जीरो आई एम कंसीडरिंग इज द स्टार्ट स्टेट सो द स्मॉलेस्ट स्ट्रिंग इज द एप्सलॉन सो दिस स्टेट शुड बी फाइनल स्टेट एंड देन If I am accepting A or B, I should go to the state number Q1, and the single length string should also get accepted. After this, if I get any string of uh, length two, means the symbol is A or B, I should once again reach to the Q2 state, and the two length string should also be accepted. So this is Q2 is also the final state. But if I get a string of uh, length three. Or length four and so on and so forth. I should reach to one of the state which is not the final state. So I'm reaching to the state Q three, which is a dead state. If I get any other symbol A or B, in this case, I should stay. I should stay at the dead state. So uh, what 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 does this suggest that uh, we have already designed the automata for the language? W, where W is the element of uh, A B star, and length of W was two. So if the length of W was two, uh, let's form that automata once again. So Q zero is the start state on A and B. We move to Q one state. On again A and B, we move to the Q two state, and Q two is the final state. And then on A and B. You come to the dead state Q3. If you get another A or B, you should stay at the dead state. So in this case, when we were finding out the uh, automata for the length of the string, where the length of the string was less than or equal to two, the number of states are four. And similarly, when we are designing the automata for the exactly two length string, once again, the number of states are four. Let's say we are designing another. Uh, we we are designing the automata for another language, and uh, where we are saying that the length of the string is at least two. It means mod w. It means the length of the string is greater greater than or equal to two. So meaning that uh, the language that will accept the strings will be a a, a b, b a, b b. And then any three length string also a a b a b b or the four length string something like a a a and so on and so forth. So let's design the automata for this. So q zero on a and b you move to the state q one, and then on the transition with a and b you come to the state q two. And since two length string is going to be accepted by this automata, so Q two should be final state. If this is a three length string, it means that we are getting more symbols on at a state Q two, maybe A or B. You should stay at the final state. It means that if I have the string of lengths, let's say four A A B B, so the transition will be like from Q zero, you will move to Q one on A. With A, you will move to Q two, and then with B, you will remain at Q two, and with B, you will remain at Q two. So since Q two is the final state, the string will get accepted. So one of the string that will get rejected is let's say the single length string, let's say A only. So with A on Q zero, you move to the state Q one, which is non-final state, and the string will be rejected. So now here in this automata, you can see that you have three states. In the previous two, you had four states. 
but now you have three states. So can we draw a conclusion from here that if I am forming the automata for a language which is of length less than or equal to n, then the number of states in the automata will be n plus 2. If I am finding it for length to length length n uh, exactly n length is string so the number of states should be n plus 2 but if i am drawing the dfa for a language in which the length of the string is greater than or equal to n then the number of states will be n plus 1 so you should remember this concept because this is a very important concept that will help you to solve many of the gate questions very easily. So thanks for watching this video. We will continue our discussion on the DFA in the subsequent lectures also.